Coming up on this week, a Louisiana treasure hangs on the wall of the Ledoux Library. Lieutenant Governor Jay Darden comes to campus and University Fleet is going electric. Welcome to This Week, I'm Alexis. A rare Louisiana treasure hangs on the wall in the Louisiana room of the Ledoux Library. Michaela takes a look. What does 18th century fairs have in common with LSU units? This man, Jean-Baptiste Bourguignon d'Anville, he was a French geographer and cartographer who was appointed geographer to the King of France in 1773. So what does Donville have in common with LSU units? This map, Canada, Louisiana et te Angloise. Donville created it and it hangs on the wall in the Louisiana room of the Ledoux Library. And it is a campus treasure and really a Louisiana treasure. One of the library treasures that we have in here in the Ledoux Library is of course the Donville map that we have here in the Louisiana Collection Room. And I say it's a treasure because uh, uh, I can validate its rarity and its scarcity in a number of uh, bibliographic sources and materials that we have. It, it came to the library through George Sabatier and the Sabatier Collection, which is a very important Louisiana history collection that we have here in the Ledoux Library that really documents early explorers, early travelers, and early history and culture of Louisiana and the Gulf Coast region. The map was purchased by George Sabache, who spent the greater part of his life bringing together Louisiana books mainly dealing with first and very early editions of works pertaining to the period of exploration and settlement of Louisiana. Sabache gave the map to Estelle Perrault, who was the first registrar of LSU units. In a phone interview with her, she said the map was too big for her house so she decided to give it to the university to be included in the Sabache collection in 1967. It was framed in Cypress and still hangs on the wall in the Louisiana room to this day. We would have to probably get a document specialist to authenticate exactly which atlas this came out of because Donville produced atle actually an atlas of these types of maps. This is probably one of those that came out of an original book that was published by Donville. I would more than likely say this is out of original book, but we would need a, a document specialist to authenticate exactly which uh, of those books it came out of. But more than likely, because we have the Sabache collection, and Dr. Sabache was a fine collector of rare items. He knew where to put his money in terms of Louisiana rare titles, and the books speak for themselves here in the library. They're original. <laughs> you can bibliographically certify those books. They have a original drawings and paintings uh, of plates and things in there. We can say that when he purchased this and put it in conjunction with a collaboration with those books, he knew what he was talking about. He knew this was a rare map and he was a fine collector who had an eye for these things, and he knew his Louisiana history. So more than likely, all of those ingredients today speak to when collectors of those years put these types of collections together. They knew what they were talking about. The map engraved on three sheets reflects the conflicting claims of France and Great Britain and shows forts, missions, Native American villages, and territories. It was originally published with a 26-page pamphlet entitled Memoir sur la carte intitulé Canada, Louisiana, et tes Angloises. Most of Donville atlases were made up for the individual customer, so no two are alike. Many of the maps are multi-sheet maps that have been joined together like this one. The Donville map, I think, is particularly interesting for us now because a lot of our students don't realize that this was like the way people got their information and how people found out about the rivers and settlements and culture and history. And now many of our young learners can see a map on CNN or television immediately as to something going on in the world, whether it's Iraq or Iran, immediately a map can pop up. But this particular library resource was a mechanism for transmitting information it may have taken many years to produce this map and color this map, get it into an atlas, and get it into the public. And think of now what we do. We instantaneously gain geographic information with pixels, pixels and computers and information. 
And so um, it's very interesting to have a document like this in the Ledoux Library to demonstrate uh, from the 1750s, this was how information was transmitted, not nearly as rapid as what we get today at our fingertips. So, the next time you are sitting in the Louisiana room waiting to hear a guest speaker, take a second to look over the map hanging on the wall and think about the incredible work that Don Bill had to do to complete this Louisiana treasure when he didn't have satellites or Google Earth to help him. Normally, at this point, I would turn the newscast back over to Alexis, but not this time. This is her last newscast at LSU Units. She'll be graduating and transferring to UL Lafayette. So we put together a little bloopers reel to send her off. Thanks, Alexis, and good luck in Lafayette. Thanks, Gabrielle. Yum, that looks good. That's <laughs> Eunice was alive with LSU Eunice activities. Oh wait, no, Alexis takes a look. <laughs> Bingo bath. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go with Buscetti Ball again. All part of the LSU Unisys student support system. <laughs> That's a quick look. <laughs> okay, you ready? That's a quick look. <laughs> the Well Reds, an alternative. Partnered <laughs> with the LSU E Foundation to support a community engagement. I was on a roll. And the Ursae symptomism. <laughs> what? what is that? Symposium. Okay. <laughs> I think you I'm running out of breath. That's such a long sentence. Thomas Edison visits campus. I'm punch you in the throat. Punch me in the throat. <laughs> Thinks Acts 5 is Bazil's Victoria Fano. That's all crap. Thanks, Michaela. Lieutenant Governor Jay Darden was on campus last week to officially kick off the Experience Louisiana Festival that LSU Eunice is hosting, along with Eunice Rotary Club, the City of Eunice, the St. Landry Parish Tourism Commission, and the Jean Lafitte National Park. And, and to show you how on point you are in thinking with what our messaging is in Louisiana, I heard the words unique uh, and um, authentic <coughs> and passionate mentioned by the various speakers. and. Our brand for Louisiana, of course, is Pick Your Passion because we have so many passions and I, I talk about them as being food, music, recreational activities, outdoor life, and festivals. We only have 400 of them in Louisiana and now we have about 401, but if, if, um, if, anything, if something walks, crawls, flies, or swims, we have a festival to salute it and we throw it in a gumbo and eat it. So, and this Louisiana experience is going to capture a little bit of everything great about our state. The festival will be held on campus in the fall of 2015. Now, let's take a look at some upcoming dates. Clico is donating a 2011 Ford Transit Connect All Electric vehicle to the university. The van has a range of 50 to 80 miles on a single charge and will be used to transport light material throughout campus in the city of Eunice. Clico will be on campus next Thursday to hand over the vehicle and charging station. Student Support Services will be hosting their end of the year jam session on December 4th and from 12 to 4.30 on the first floor of the Science Building. Students can attend study sessions, pick up free testing supplies, and enjoy refreshments. A series of rooms will be set up for students to study in. A quiet room, a room with soft background music, a discussion group room, and a tech room where students can use computers. The Bingo baseball team did their part for National Recycling Day. The team collected 71 30-gallon trash bags of recycles. The team picked up glass, cans, paper, cordboard, wood, and more over a two-day period. Since this is going to be my last broadcast, I just wanted to thank you all for watching me over the last two years. I especially wanted to thank student media, including Van Reed, Anna Lege, Bree Trumps, and Abby Bajron. You've all meant a lot to me and this has been an amazing experience. I'll never forget everyone I've met and everything I've basically done over the last two years and I hope I could do it again in the future. 
So for the last time, that's it for this week at LSU Eunice. This is the final broadcast of the fall. <laughs> This is the final broadcast of the fall. Michaela will be back in the spring to keep you posted on what's happening around campus. <laughs> I can't do it. <clears throat> Are y'all ready? Okay. This is gonna be the final broadcast of the fall. Michaela will be back in the spring to keep you posted on what's happening around campus. Thank you.